All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, and you may be wondering why I'm starting this video out with this particular picture right here. This is one of the most wickedest things that has ever reached Vibes Cartel. Remember, me tell you that. At the time, this was our standing police commissioner, and he came on television and said Cartel was responsible for a gang that was responsible for over 100 murders across the island. Up to this day, none of that has been proven. And this man has been fortunate enough to just go into retirement and disappear into the wind. Those accusations still haunt cartel to this day. Alright, you're on SoFlow TV, so you know so we're going to talk about the trial because today is the starting of the appeal, right? He's in court today. Today is the 9th. As we speak, he should be standing in a courtroom today along with all his other co-accused. People always say, so flow, so why on not always I talk about Cartel and not Kahir Jones and Sean Storm and all the others? Because everyone must understand that this whole case is hinged on Vibes Cartel and his freedom. And if they find that he was innocent of those charges or there was not enough to convict him there, subsequently they will have to let everyone else go as well because everyone else pretty much was convicted based on their association with vibes cartel you understand what i'm saying all right so big up to the loop for this one so to get everybody all caught up and current first of all let me say this before i go reading from the loop check this out i want everybody out there to be on their best behavior don't start call the judge them no names don't start call lawyers no names don't start calling the justice system any names stay put stay chill okay People in position of power, sometimes power trip, and they have a way of making you feel their powers. You understand? Of wielding their powers over the minions and making you realize who is in charge. You don't want that to come back right now to bite any one of these brothers, so to speak. Right? A freedom we are pre. A lot of people... Let's get that out the way as well. A lot of people have said so flow. I mean, I know, I know. Cartel guilty, all killer, all this. And I've maintained steadily over the years. I've maintained steadily that I just can't go with that. Based on what I saw from that case, there was not enough there to put these guys in a position where they're at. Therefore, I am still, me hear one I say, but I am still on the Free Vibes Cartel campaign. And it's 2018. Alright. The appeal hearing for Dancehall Sensation Vibes Cartel, who was convicted of murder along with three of his associates in 2014, is scheduled to begin on Monday, which is today, in the Court of Appeal. Lawyers for all four appealants are primed to attempt to bore holes in the convictions of their clients. And... Numbered among them is prominent attorney Bert Samuels. There are four appealants, and my firm is representing Sean Campbell, he said. Campbell on Sunday in re relation to his client, who is better known as recording artist Sean Storm. My team of attorneys will be arguing that here is where you're going to learn what they'll be saying in court. He said, my team of attorneys will be arguing that fresh evidence should be admitted in the case. People, and listen up carefully, you know, this gets deep. Listen, we are a team working for all four of the appealants, and we believe that there is sufficient grounds of appeal that will spur the court of appeal to look seriously at this matter, outlined Samuels to the Loop News reporter, Mr. Claude Mills. Big up, Claude Mills. The grounds of appeal span between the judge being biased, the accused, Sean Campbell, not being present for the composition of the jury, which is his legal right to be so, and he was stripped of it. Also being denied the right of hearing and right to be present when material evidence was being presented against him. And again, he was denied that. He pointed to key cell site evidence as a major point which could have swung the case in the appealant's favor. So we are talking about those who are up for appeal. Vibes Cartel, Sean Storm, Kahir Jones, they are referred to here as the appealants. Alright? The main witness of fact. Watch this. 
the main witness of fact actually said two different things. One statement said that he got to Swallowfield Avenue at 5.30 p.m. And then to the police, he said he got there at 8 in the night. Big discrepancy in time. And we have the cell site evidence that shows, we have the cell site evidence, so now hear that, that shows that Williams, rather than being in Swallowfield Avenue, was actually in St. Catherine at the time. And he was allegedly being, at the time, he was allegedly being assaulted. The cell site evidence proves that way after 7, the deceased was still in St. Catherine. That is is scientific evidence Samuel said in April all star legal team filed supplementary grounds and skeleton argument in the court of appeal in downtown Kingston to have the 2014 murder convictions overturned the team comprising of attorneys Tom Tavares Finson Valerie Nita Robertson and Bert Samuels reportedly raised a dozen reasons why the appealants should be freed a dozen reasons the document submitted by the attorneys outlined what has been described as a litany of errors that were supposedly made by the trial judge judge lennox campbell which were said to have led to the convictions so, in other words, they're saying that the judge presiding over this case made a whole bunch of errors, 12 to be precise, that led to these convictions. The Supreme Court in downtown Kingston, where the Vibes Cartel appeal is scheduled to begin on Monday, Samuel suggested that the judge's bias came out through inadequate directions to the jury in respect to the law of interference or in applying the law relating to it which the attorney said denied the jury appropriate tools to ensure a fair and balanced assessment of the case me know enough people ignorant as hell and pay attention to the words them being used if you don't understand rewind and listen again carefully he argued that this was an abrogation of established principles designed to protect the rights of citizens on trial justice campbell did not remind the jury did not remind the jury of the cell site evidence remember the cell site evidence pointed that that individual was somewhere else at the time and not where he said he was my i uh, must i mind you that many of cases in the united states of america have been tried and people either found guilty convicted or exonerated based on cell site evidence he should have reminded them that what we lawyers call exclusionary evidence and how the cell site evidence proved that the main witnesses testimony claimed that Williams was at Swallowfield Avenue where men were supposed to be killing him at the time he was in St. Catherine actually come on Samuel said Exclusionary evidence is said to be a rule of evidence that excludes or suppresses evidence obtained in violation of a defendant's constitutional rights. Samuels also raised other general issues with what he cited as contaminated cell phone evidence that was allowed at the trial, along with what he viewed as prejudicial video evidence that was also allowed. And of course, I've spoken about these two over the years. I've spoken about the cell phone being tampered with and the police officer admittedly taking the cell phone, taking it out, using it on his own, making his own personal calls and doing God knows what else with it, then returning it to the evidence room. And it was still admitted into this case as evidence against Vives Cartel and his co-accused. Right. Also, the prejudicial video. Nowhere in that video they mentioned the person that was killed name or said they killed that person or anything. But they were sitting there holding things and saying things and it was used to say that is what they were doing. No proof. The attorney said the judge erred when he did not allow Sean Storm Campbell to be present when key material evidence crucial to the case was being presented. 
Whenever evidence that is material to the case is being presented, the accused must present. He was not, must be present, sorry. He was not invited by the judge to be present, and the judge is responsible for the fairness of a trial as laid out under Section 16 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights. That the accused should be entitled to examine evidence that deals with determination of guilt, he said. Section 16 of the chapter Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom reads, Every person charged with a criminal offense shall be entitled to examine or have examined at his trial witnesses against him and to obtain the attendance and examination of witnesses on his behalf under the same conditions as witnesses against him. Hmm. Wow. I hope you are paying attention. You know? I hope you are really paying attention. Watch this. The lawyers also believe that the sentence was manifestly excessive and that the trial judge made errors which amounted to serious constitutional breaches. Cartel, whose given name is Adija Palmer, is currently serving a life sentence for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. For those of you who don't know, outside of his appeal prospect, he will be eligible for parole after serving 35 years. That is if they go to court and blow appeal. He is presently at the St. Catherine District Prison in Spanish Town. Cartel and Sean Storm are convicted along with co-accused Kahira Jones and Andre St. John. They all received life sentences. And remember they received life sentences for based on circumstantial evidence, no concrete evidence, no forensic evidence and no body found. Cartel and Sean Storm, along with all the co-accused, all received life sentences. St. John is to do 30 years before being considered for parole, while Jones and Campbell are to respectively do 25 years before they are eligible for parole. Alright? And we're going to leave this right there, but now, let me go back and say this again. Remember... Remember, I know a lot of people come to SoFlow TV channel that don't consider themselves Gaza fan. This is not about Gaza or Gully or Vendetta or whatever at this moment. Just like how people were reeling up and saying stuff like Cartel for stay at jail forever. And then now you see the quagmire that Movado's son is in. Cartel for stay at jail forever and for rotten in there. That's what people were saying, right? And in Jamaica, we have a saying, when you go dig a grave, you see, dig two. Alright? One for me, and one for you. So, when I tell you these things, I'm telling you these things. Nobody ball out a gully, me say, cartel for stay in a jail forever. And then when the same thing reach gully side, you have a difference of opinion. Keep the same energy, if that's what you're flinging out. But remember, justice for all. And we no bada see no gully vendetta gaz and none of that right now. Right now, we're looking for justice. And I'm going to tell the fans one more time. Be very careful of what you're saying out there. Let this thing blow past. Me know enough vloggers are going to take it and run with it. And start saying all kinds of things. Let it blow past. Let it blow past and say as little as possible. Only repeat what's already out there publicly because whatever you say can be very damaging. Now is not the time to be talking about the judge figure so called him this and the other side figure so called them that. And I know how people get ignorant as hell. Alright? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And we wish them all the best. They are standing in court today. Today, today. A freedom was set. It's so flow TV man. I'm up out of here. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We said free Audrey St. John. We said free Sean Storm. We said free Kahir Jones. And we said free Vibes Cartel. Alright? And that's all we're looking forward to. Now, it's all in the hand of you know who are ready. I'm out. Watch now. You see this channel here? This channel called Brain Flow TV. Right? 
So when you want to come away from all the other stuff that we talk about on SoFlow TV and on Brains and the Beat channel, come over to BrainFlow TV. That's where you get a peek into our behind the scenes personal life. As you can see by this right here, newborn baby just come home and all these things. Go subscribe to the vlog channel. It's called BrainFlow TV.